noticed that these containers are a little difficult to open. <laughs> yes, they were quite difficult to open. I have Chick-fil-A barbecue. I have honey mustard. We have a Chick-fil-A sauce. That's what it just says right there. Then I have Polynesian. I have sriracha and I got ranch. Mm. And the lemon mm. crack. You got it. Mm. <laughs> Mm. It's frosted lemony crack. Frosted lemony crack. Mm -hmm. oh, we gonna, so gonna try the sriracha first. Mm. <laughs> mm. That is delicious. Try the sriracha. It's a little spicy. If you like a diabetic or something, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> as um, as get this here, we got the Chick Fil A sauce, which is delicious. Barbecue. It, oh, it's tangy. It's like, I don't know what it is. It's like, if Mac sauce was perfect, that the stuff they put on the, uh, on the Big Mac. On the Big Mac. It's like better it's, than it's, Mac it's sauce. Better than Mac sauce. Yeah. It's like, it's better than Mac sauce. It's like, without the pickles. Mmm, that's a good one. Then we got barbecue right here. I'm gonna taste that barbecue. Everybody barbecue is not built the same. <laughs> McDonald's barbecue sauce tastes terrible. <laughs> I don't understand. Nobody asked you. <laughs> I don't understand why they, they don't want to give you like one of them for 13 so, chicken niggas. <laughs> Who? That's because the McRib is special. The McRib is. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the McRib is. The McRib is back, y'all. <laughs> I don't like the honey mustard. Chick fil A honey mustard is trash. <laughs> but. Let's try the ranch. Is it buttermilk? It's mm. garlic herb. Mmm, okay. Herb. herb. Not Even herb. though it's herb, but herb. herb. Y'all know what I meant. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> they got that ranch sauce. That, that's delicious. Now we're gonna go back to the old famous Polynesian. Mmm. Mmm. Mm mm mm. -mm. Nothing beats Polynesian. Nothing beats Polynesian. <laughs> Nothing. Right, so you, gotta, you gotta rank them now. Yes, I do, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Polynesian is a 10 out of 10. Always. You can never go wrong. You can put it on your sandwich. Just don't. Fries. In your fries. We're gonna go with <laughs> Chick fil A sauce because it's freaking delicious. It's like a 9.8 out of 10. I like the sriracha's. I get a sriracha a strong 8. <laughs> Barbecue sauce, yeah, six and a half. No, I give it a, a seven. Ranch, 6.5, because everybody got ranch. All ranch tastes the same. That's not true. Because Hidden Valley you. and Craft Ranch is in two We're talking about totally Chick-fil-A, man. Listen. We're talking about Chick-fil-A. Ranch is not just ranch. And honey mustard is trash. Got ketchup there, Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you you gotta eat the fries <laughs> with the Polynesian sauce, my brother. I did, brother. No, don't think so, my brother. You're not involved. And the Chick Fil A sauce. I don't even know what's what anymore. That looks like honey mustard. You gotta all, try. All I got is, is um, Chick Fil A sauce. Got his Chick Fil A exactly. and the sauce. And we had Chick Fil A and all that thing that now is Chick Chick Fil A. This is the holy grail. If you can only go one sauce, the rest of your life, which one would be? Chick Fil A sauce. One you sauce. Say the rest of my life. You better say Polynesian. I'm going to Thank you. I can put this on McDonald's, Burger King. You do not have to get divorced. I'm, disres <laughs> I'm disrespecting. I'm coming to you. I'm disrespecting all of y'all. I'm coming here with my Polynesian sauce. It's like the second best sauce next back to Yum Yum sauce. Yum Yum sauce is delicious. Yum Yum sauce is good. I don't know what that is. Yum Yum sauce. I don't know what it is. What is Yum Yum sauce? Hope right? In his defense, wait, in his defense, some people call it shrimp sauce. I don't know what that is. Oh, I can't help you. Come on, dude. You know, you know, like the beige, orange, pinkish looking sauce that you get at the Halacha. No way. Yeah. You know, like the orange. Which one is this one? I've never tried it. I like Chick Fil A sauce. The Chick Fil A sauce is like second best. You're saying that because you're Chick Fil A. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna try Polynesian tonight though. Let's see which one I like. You should. It's, it's wonderful. You gotta try the sriracha too. Okay, I'll try that. <laughs> yum yum sauce, aka shrimp sauce, is the pink orange 
beige looking sauce. It's just like the ketchup when you mix it with the mayonnaise. It's bottom, not that. It's not that. Greater. It's Don't like, you ever disrespect like yummy sauce like that. Right <laughs> it is not that. That's disrespect. Have you ever been to a hibachi? A hibachi? It's the sauce. I'll, I'll it's, do it's, all that. It's the, it's the creamy looking sauce that you do hibachi in. This is where I want to raise with. That's the next one. Next one you need five, brother. <laughs> <laughs> So the theme of the, the vlog is telling people stories or maybe your own or anything like that. So what I want to challenge people to do because they think like your story is going to be a lifetime story. Uh -huh. What's something that's happened like within a week's time that has been impactful in your life? Okay. It could so, have been something that you saw, something that happened to you. I got anything. a call um, two days ago and tomorrow I'm traveling to Atlanta. I had to submit some information for clearance, but I may have an opportunity to bring some of my students to go and uh, do photo work for President Obama. So we are headed up uh, first thing in the morning to go and see how that works out. Yeah. You gonna take me which? No. <laughs> you won't have service. <laughs> she had a treat, CD5. Your car don't work. <laughs> See how they I just got one question. Why it take us such a long pause? What are those? <laughs> uh oh, roast battle. Go ahead. Let's see what y'all got. Come on. Come on, your ass. Boy. So the Wiregrass Creators Meeting happened. That was awesome. Something I've been wanting to go to for a while now. They've had, I think, two other meetings before this, kind of spread out a few months apart or a couple months apart. Anyways, awesome to be able to sit around a table and just talk about creative ideas, different projects going on throughout the city, uh, figuring out different things that we can do in the city to help highlight the area, uh, whether it's different kind of restaurants, different just areas of interest, and just to see how we can uh, do stuff together. So it's pretty awesome. It's important to me to be around other creators because it's motivating and it inspires me to try new stuff, to <laughs> dig down into the stuff I need to get done of what I'm already working on. But Mike Morris, he's a creative that I met almost, I would say, a year and a half ago or so. He's been one of the best creatives I've met in this area. He's got a heart to help people out. He wants to tell other people's stories. He's in it to highlight other people. And that's just the kind of person I like to be around because he doesn't think about himself. He's about other people and supporting other people. The cool thing, a little bit more behind the scenes story about Mike is that he's a creative, he's a director, he does photography, videography, he do, produces films, he's done short films, all kinds of stuff. We work on some projects together. One of the cool things that he does is that he goes to Atlanta every week and he's a teacher for a creative class. He teaches young people, youth, whatever label you want to put on them, and he trains them and teaches them the technicalities, the creative side, all the things that are involved with being a creative, he's doing that in the school system. So it's really awesome that he's able to really invest those kind of special times with those students. And he's being able to help do something with our former president, Barack Obama. That, that's pretty impactful, that's awesome. I'm proud that he's working on projects like that. So. Just another cool thing, like he'll do the little projects, but he also has big project ideas. I couldn't think of a better way to start off this no small, no, what's it called? Yeah, no small November, right? I can't remember the hashtag uh, at the moment, but from no small creator, there's, yeah, no small November. And he thinks of the bigger project. I mean, the last few days I've been trying to think about like, what's this big thing that I can work on for this challenge that Cody's put out there. And if you need a reference, I'll put a link in the video description. But I've been trying to think about what's that big thing that I can try to get done this month. And I really think just for this channel and for my creative purposes is to daily vlog in the month of November. And the reason why that's a big project for me is because I have the hardest time sticking to something. I'll go for a hard two weeks on accomplishing what I'm trying to get done. And then for some reason, for whatever reason, I don't end up doing that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's one of those things like, if you fail, just try again. And that's what I'm gonna do for this time. This is gonna be my No Small November project, is the daily vlog for the month of November. And just really dig into this vlog of what it's all about, telling people stories, just trying to 
find ways to help improve my interviewing skills, to find those gems that are within people that need to be highlighted, maybe even call something out of somebody that they don't even know that exists in them. Because that's what's happened in my life and you know, that's just something I think I could try to do in other people's lives is to just really raise up people in their strengths and see where that goes. I've ranted on long enough. I'm going to end this vlog. It's been a fun evening. I've needed this evening out with these people to help motivate me to get back on the horse and get going and get uh, get it done or how, or do this thing, do that thing, how Cody says. I'm, I, I can't remember stuff. I'm getting old. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have a great night. And yeah, it's like almost 10 o'clock. I'll be home about 10, 15. I'm going to try to crunch out this vlog and publish it tonight. So that way it can officially be November 1st vlog. So I can say that I vlogged every day in November. All right, guys. See ya.